Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 Free Dream, the Stark Jigen. I believe this appeared in Gundam Unicorn, and uh, it's an interesting unit, honestly. It's a 550 cost, ground and space capable general, with a ballistic resistance of 25, a beam resistance of 20, a melee resistance of 20, a range strength of 25, a melee strength of 25, a movement speed of 125, and a thrust gauge of 75. Pretty good all-rounder stats. For parts, we have close range of 12, medium of 18, and long range of 10. And it's a melee 2 priority suit. For equipment, we do actually have an option. We have the Stark Jigen Hyper Bazooka Shrapnel, which is kind of like a ranged uh, shotgun in a way. Uh, a little bit more range, can be pretty good, can give you kind of a bit of trouble though. Or you can go with the Stark Jigen Hyper Bazooka. It's a noob tube, it does exactly what you expect. Uh, you aim at people's feet, you fire it, and you stagger them a bit. It's not bad, it does pretty consistent damage, and it's a good option if you're just having trouble with the uh, shrapnel, which is understandable. Then we got your standard issue beam saber. We got the Jigen VP system, which is okay. It's a uh, pretty decent damage. Um, they fire from the chest and not the head because it actually has the Vulcans in the chest. Then we have the Stark Jigen Beam Rifle, which is a nice sub-weapon. I think after a certain point, the uh, Jigen Rifle should just be a sub-weapon for a lot of these Jigen variants. Um, staggers, good amount of damage, nice to have. And you can rotate between a couple weapons to get there. Then we have the Shoulder 3 Tube Missile Pod, which has a little bit of tracking based on your reticle, so even if you get hit, you can guide these in to annoy people at range. Good damage, decent range. And then we got the Arm Grenade Launcher. Also very good damage, and okay range. It's good for annoying people. For skills, we have Emergency Evasion System, Light Control Program Level 2, Glide Structure Level 3, Anti-Blast Stabilizer, High Performance Balancers, Melee Combo Controller, High Spec Ambec Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, very nice, High Performance Radar, Special Shoulder Add-on Buffer, Back Binder Special Cushioning Level 2, and EX Boost. Um... I almost never use these EX boost style abilities, but they can help in a pinch, so it's always worth considering when you can use them. In terms of what I think about this unit, it is a very good mid-range suit. Um, actually, I would say it's outstanding when it's actually supporting something like a raid or a support. It can really act and do a great deal of, uh, more when it's actually teaming up with someone. They can say that about any suit, but this suit is ultimately one of those second follow-up suits out there. So it's a very good general that has a lot of balanced stats and some good options, but you're gonna have to be a little bit more aggressive than you would normally be with a general. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello everybody, welcome to the match, and uh, this was one that kind of surprised me. I did have to do a few matches, not that any of them were horrible, but because I was trying to stick with using the um, the weapon it comes with the uh, default, and that would be the uh, clay, shrapnel clay bazooka, and yeah, it's, it's fine, but there are some issues with it like you have with anything so we're gonna push forward we're gonna let that guy grab B I'm gonna follow up two and I'm gonna be aggressive initially throw out some fire switch over to the Jigen beam rifle and I notice uh, we got a guy here and smack him with that drop him out of the sky hit him with a uh, the shrapnel bazooka and he is going to get ripped up and I'm going to turn around and 
find one of my favorite raids. He's gonna roll out of it. Now we're gonna have a bit of a brawl here and we're gonna get some uh, smackaroonies going on as everybody goes ham. And um, I'm gonna back up to put some fire on uh, this other raid, mostly as an attempt to kinda keep him from focus firing too awfully much. Um, and I'm going to cycle through some of my uh, things. So these shoulder ones will follow your reticles, and I'm using them to hit them regardless of if I get hit. And here's the raid again. We're going to smack into the legs, come in. He's going to be gone already. We're going to turn our attention back here, come up, use that Jigen beam rifle, which is probably better as a sub weapon. And uh, we're going to use it to help switch into some of our other options. Um, Oh, this guy's still alive, and now he's gone. So there's our kill. And we're going to go ahead and push around to uh, try to help follow up with uh, our team. I'm coming in behind the, uh, the support because, one, I'm pretty decent at being a guard for him, and I can have a, a little bit more chance throwing out fire. So we're going to go ahead and push the uh, raid here. And he's going to go, we're going to smack him with that, hit him with the melee, knock our guy down, come up, hit him with that. I'm going to use the, the chest mounted Vulcans just to rip him up. That's mostly because he's going to be weak against them anyways. We're going to keep trying to maneuver not to hit our guys. And I saw a support fire coming in, so I'm going to be pushing on this guy. We're going to throw some of our missiles, use the tracking to get him, and we're going to do a little bit of chasing with our team. At this point, no reason not to. He's going to come around the corner. Oh, no. Nope. He's going to keep pushing. We're going to get him with the shrapnel because it didn't really matter. We just needed to tap him. And uh, I believe this is the raid again. I'm going to get shot in the back, but that's life. We're going to just keep pestering them. Now, you can see this unit works really well as a uh, companion to a support because, holy cow, you and the support can just throw out a ton of fire. Now, he's going to turn his attention and try to take out me, which is probably the wiser thing, but eh, it got him killed. So, we're in pretty good position, uh, points-wise. And we're at the halfway mark, effectively. So I'm staying with the support, even though, uh, you know, I'm not, I could be more useful a little bit on the front line, but again, this unit does excel when it can throw out a lot of fire. So we're just gonna continue following them up. And we're not gonna get in the way of that brawl because holy cow. Um, most of our shots got absorbed by the uh, support, so we'll just back off, turn around, we see someone uh, spawn in at D, and uh, we're going to keep pushing, but we're going to be a little bit cautious here. Uh, we're going to let the forceful one uh, take point in this case, as I tried to uh, snipe with the arm, uh, <laughs> arm grenade. We're going to come up, and we're going to pump him with the, uh, the shrapnel bazooka and we're gonna fire again not a lot of damage but you know whatever you're trying to to whittle away at them they're gonna start getting forceful so we're gonna come in give him a smack and get his friend we're gonna uh, hit him with that or unfortunately some of our stuff is reloading we'll dodge out of the way and I was hoping to get him with the shoulders, but that wasn't going to happen. And there we go, taken out. First death. Good luck. So, we're going to spawn in and uh, throw a little bit of uh, tradition their way. We're going to go for the guy in the back, because I see my team pushing, so I'm kind of hoping that they'll uh, we'll corral them into it. And we're going to jump into our Stark Jigen. He's got the giant shoulders for carrying. Or at least that's what I'm going to say. Oh, we're going to see our uh, flying friend. We're going to pop him with the shrapnel. We're not going to get the kill, but we're going to keep pushing and wait for it. Miss our shot. Hit him with the uh, chest-mounted Vulcans. 
uh, get knocked by the concussive explosion. And, uh, whoop, that guy's gone. Oh, there's a support. We'll tag him with the Jigen rifle. I decide that I'm going to basically keep them from having their support be too effective when we go after them. I'm going to hit him with the charge. I'm going to miss my attack. He's going to miss his uh, attempt at a counter. Hit him with the Jigen rifle again. Knock him down. Come in. Smack a Rooney him, but get out of the way. Because I know one of my guys was coming up to help me. And, well, one, I didn't want to get in his way. So we're going to use a little bit of that air dashing ability. Go over, smack at him, but we're going to miss out on the kill. There's that uh, shrapnel bazooka doing some damage as we push our uh, flying friend here. He's going to get into a bit of a kerfluffle. We're going to come in and one-two him with the shrapnel bazooka into a uh, melee. Hit this guy, come down, not quite get the attack on him. Switch over to the shrapnel just because I wanted to make sure I could hit him with the shotgun effect. Try not to get hit by our guy. Help with the, uh, the assist there. And we're going to come back over because you see some guys popping back here. I assumed it was the raid. And, well, golly gee. <laughs> it was the raid. We're going to smack at him with the shrapnel bazooka. I use it mostly as a damage ad if you want my advice on it. The normal bazooka is probably the better option um, in terms of more stagger potential. Oh, we're going to accidentally hit the uh, force one. I decide I'm going to back off and let him go. And we're going to come over here and uh, try to help back up these guys as uh, we take on our flying friend again. We're going to just keep tapping him, being a little bit more cautious in the whole thing. And he's gone. We're going to turn around and we're going to come after this guy, but the match is going to end and he's going to get his sweet counter off on our guy. Nice way to end the match, my friend. And there we are posing with our, <laughs> our bazooka. No board spots, but second place. Bye bye